Welcome back and happy Wednesday. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's talk weather. We're noticing outside right now on America's Mattress Live Tower Cam, beautiful blue, clear, sunny skies. And even as we shift our attention over towards Montrose, we're also looking at these super clear skies getting into these evening hours. We're also expecting temperatures to continue to increase throughout tonight and into tomorrow. And even as we wrap up the work week and into Saturday, we're also expecting this mild calm weather to continue into Saturday. However, However, there is a shift headed our way, a slight shift headed our way, actually expected on Sunday. We'll notice that this mild weather is due to this high pressure. However, we're watching this cold front and this Pacific Northwest system move on in. We're specifically watching this cold front because it's going to give us a drop in temperatures on Sunday. And this storm system will give us a rain snow mix here in the valleys for Sunday and some snow, of course, in those higher elevation regions. But before that happens, we're focusing on these above normal temperatures. Some of these northern states are looking at 20 to 25 degrees above those seasonal averages. But locally, as we look into tomorrow, we're really only expecting maybe 5, 10 degrees degrees above what we're typically used to. Speaking of those above average temperatures right now, we're still in those upper 40s in Grand Junction, mid 40s through Montrose, further east we're feeling 20s, 30s and even 40s through Glenwood. But we'll notice in our almanac that on that high end of things, we are pushing a full five degrees above what we're typically used to. That low end of things, we were eh, well shy by just a few degrees. Tonight we're going to be feeling 25 in Grand Junction, 22 through Montrose. And as we look into tomorrow, we're continuing continuing to stay in those 50s. But we'll notice tomorrow those peak temperatures are actually happening during those afternoon hours, those late afternoon hours, maybe as you're heading home from work. Now we're also going to talk about tomorrow. Speaking of those warm temperatures, it's leap day. February 29th. The reason why we have leap days is because Earth's rotation is usually 365 days, but then we're going to add that extra five hours, 48 minutes and 45 seconds. So we do round that up to 366 every four years because without the leap years, those seasons would almost flip flop. So the math on that is actually by the time we kind of uh, minus that 365, we get 0.24 uh, hours to four days, I suppose. Uh, so without that leap year every 100 years, then of course we would be off by 24 days on that calendar year. But speaking of tomorrow, speaking of February 29th, still those clear skies continue continue as we wake up fast forward into those afternoon hours still super clear skies then some partly cloudy skies rolling on in by the time we get into Friday and by the time we get into Saturday and those weekend days a little bit of some scattered showers very minimally before we watch that storm system roll on in for Sunday and I want to talk about gaining daylight. We'll probably have, you know, you've probably noticed, we've starting to push past that 6 p.m. Uh, hour for the sunset. Just on March 9th, we're going to be hitting 616 for that sunset hour, but by March 10th, 717 when we go forward an hour. And that's just 11 days away to where we're going to need to fast forward those clocks, change those fire alarm batteries, all of that action. Now Discovery Auto Group's seven day forecast has us by Friday and Saturday reaching those 60 degree temperatures. Sunday and Monday we will have that drop down into the 40s but then through the middle of the work week back up into those mid 50s and same trend for Montrose but just a few degrees cooler. We'll notice that warmest day is actually going to be Saturday.